Our top story at 6.30, angry demands by Democrats to release the Mueller report in its entirety now. And their frustrations are reminiscent of a similar standoff 20 years ago. Attorney General William Barr is promising to produce the Mueller report by mid-April with redactions. Some Democrats are demanding, though, to see all of it by Tuesday. But KPX5 political reporter Melissa Kane says they were a lot less eager when the tables were turned. It's no secret that many Democrats want the public to see the full report by special counsel Robert Mueller. We're going to see every word every period, every comma of it. It's just a matter of whether we see it now when we want to see it or if we have to go through the courts. I want to see the report. All we have is a four-page summary. How can I just say this more clearly? Show us the report. But there was a time when some Democrats were not so eager to publish the findings of an independent investigation. Back in 1998, when independent counsel Kenneth Starr wrapped up his investigation of President Bill Clinton, 63 Democrats voted against making the Starr report public, even though parts of it were already being reported in the press. The good news about the leaks is that this four-year investigation apparently vindicates President Clinton in the conduct of his public life because we're only left with this personal stuff. Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi and others did not say the report should be kept secret, only that House Speaker Newt Gingrich should let the president see it first and maybe include a presidential rebuttal with the report. Why would you not afford the President of the United States the same opportunity that you get were given by the Ethics Committee of having almost a week's notice, yes, advance speaker. notice to review the, the charges against you and so that you could have your response be yeah, part of the report? I remind you, the Star Report is a list of allegations. It is not a statement of mm -hmm. fact. And, and they will be unanalyzed, no witnesses cross-examined in the rest. East Bay Congresswoman Barbara Lee and South Bay Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren also voted against publication of the report. In this case, we have a rush to put allegations that have been compiled over four years onto the Internet without giving the president 24 hours to review it. I fear for our country if we cannot do better than this. In 1998, the House did vote to publish the Starr report without giving President Clinton time to review it. And on Friday, Attorney General William Barr said the Mueller report will be made public in mid-April and President Trump will not get time to review it. If that's what he'd like to do, uh, I have nothing to hide. Some Democrats are betting that's not true. I cannot imagine that 400 pages plus whatever exhibits they have are going to make the president look good. Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.